If a man were offered a pill that would be sure to shrink his penis within the next three months, do you think he would take it? Hi, I'm Jessica Drummond of the Integrative Pelvic Health Institute. I'm here to help physical therapy and clinical nutrition practitioners give their patients integrative science-based tools to use in their clinic to help them heal pelvic and sexual health conditions. So that was a provocative question, wasn't it? I don't think there would be a single man who would stand up and raise his hand and, to take the pill that would shrink his penis. Do you? I don't think so. So I was at a conference last weekend and that was the question that Dr. Erwin Goldstein asked us. And he's the head of a very excellent pelvic health clinic in San Diego. So I dug a bit into the research because I agree with him. Women are not being told of all of the side effects that are associated with the birth control pill. And over 80% of American women take the birth control pill on a daily basis. So while I think the birth control pill has been a dramatic improvement for women in terms of taking control of their sexual health and taking control of their reproductive health, and it's a wonderful modern advancement that does have many advantages. There are cons of the birth control pill that women need to be aware of so that they can make responsible choices that affect knowing both the pros and cons of what taking this pill will do in their bodies. So let's talk today about the cons of birth control. In 2012, in a study that was published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, the researchers looked at what were the effects of the birth control pill on the genital anatomy of women who were taking the birth control pill for just three months. And these were healthy, 22 healthy young women on birth control pills for just three months. And they were the normal estrogen dose. These were not low dose pills. The labia minora decreased in thickness. They're external vulva shrunk, the size of the vaginal enteritis shrunk. So you have this like shriveling of the tissues. And that is because the estrogen is being bound up by sex hormone binding globulin. It's a protein that ties up the estrogen. And then just a small bit of estrogen was being put back by the birth control pill, not the amount that a woman would normally have or she would be ovulating. The other problems that they found with the birth control pill when, it talk, when we're talking about your sexual health is that there was a lowered frequency of intercourse, increased pain during orgasm, during intercourse. In this study, they found increased pain during intercourse in general. In a newer study we'll talk about in a second, there has been shown increased pain during orgasm. So if you go on the birth control pill, your vulva shrinks and you have more pain, of course, you're going to want to have sex less. That makes sense, right? All right, so let's talk about this newer study that was presented by Dr. Rosenblum of NYU and her colleagues at the May 13, 2013 American Uro Urological Associating, Association meeting. So that this study, to my knowledge, has not actually been published yet, but it was, just, it was presented at that meeting. And what she found were women that were on these lower dose estrogen birth control pills. So you're, again, scooping up all the estrogen with the sex hormone binding globulin that's in the birth control pill that's, you know, caused to be elevated by the birth control pill. And then you're putting back just 20 micrograms of estrogen, so even less estrogen, so it's potentially a problem that your external genitals could be shrinking even more. 25% of those women had pain with orgasm, which is double the amount of women on either higher dose pills or not taking the birth control pill at all. And so a study that's coming out, well, has been published online and it's coming out in the, on the first 2014 issue of the Human Reproduction Update. Again, we have more evidence that's showing that of course birth control pills lower estrogen. That's normal, that's what they're meant to do so a woman does not ovulate. But we're also seeing detailed impacts of the birth control pill on testosterone. So if a woman's testosterone is lowered, which makes sense, because again, sex hormone binding globulin floats all around and binds up the active testosterone and estrogen. So even if this 
level is relatively high, the free testosterone that can do anything, that can give you the sexual desire that you need to enjoy sex, is all bound up with these high levels of sex hormone binding globulin that sometimes can stay elevated permanently. At this conference, I learned that if you're on the birth control pill for potentially around five years, you, this elevation in sex hormone binding globulin can be permanent. And they actually don't know what that number is of how long you'd have to be on the pill for that to happen yet. So it could be even shorter time frame than that. So knowing the cons of the birth control pill, and of course there are pros, but I just think that this video is important because many women are very unaware of these sexual health side effects of a reproductive advancement, the birth control pill, because there are, other, there are other good options for birth control. IUDs, which are more localized, even the ones that do have hormones, the hormones maintained are more localized. And for those that don't want any foreign body or any hormones, the fertility awareness method, which we'll talk about more in a different video, can be very effective. And I think is a useful tool because I think the more women know and understand about their biology and their physiology, about their body, the more you know about your body, the more your patients know about their body and can tune into their cycles, the more wisdom they can get from them. So those methods are out there and available in case you are one of the people who has these side effects. And there are many women, because look, these, are not, these numbers are not 100%. The, the genital shrinkage is pretty much 100%, but the symptoms is not 100%. So some women do fine with the birth control pill, but if you are not one of them, or you just wanna know what the birth control pill is doing in your body, I hope this, vi this video helps you and helps you counsel your patients better on what they can be aware of when it comes to their, their pelvic and sexual health if they are on birth control pills. Again, I'm Jessica Drummond from the Integrative Pelvic Health Institute. I would love to hear in the comments below the number one thing that you learned today. Please like and share this video with your friends, and I will see you next time. Bye.